Good morning and happy Wednesday. Hump day. Yes, halfway through. We're making it. Um, another beautiful day. Can't get over this weather here in southeastern Massachusetts. Um, it's been fabulous. So I wanted to get on here real quick. I know yesterday I was talking about um, these negative self-talks that we have and uh, negative ways that we, we think we, that will motivate us, you know, by beating ourselves up, we think we will motivate. Um, and kind of along those lines, I wanted to talk about, you know, um, the small things, the small steps that it takes Sometimes when we think of a goal or something that we want to do or behavior we want to change, it seems overwhelming because uh, we, we're thinking of the end result. We're thinking of all the things that we need to do in order to get that result. And the important thing, first of all, is to get started, right? So to get started on something. Um, but to break it down into little chunks, into little pieces, and doing the little incremental things that you need to do in order to achieve that goal um, is is how you achieve goals, right? So, um, and it also helps you to, um, you know, when you when you breaking it down into little pieces, it helps you. It's more manageable. It feels more doable. One of the things that I wanted to do, um, what was challenging for me, was finding time to, to um, I work, I go to uh, school part-time, um, and so I wanted to incorporate different things. I wanted to be healthier, um, eating healthy, and um, exercising, and my mental health, my spiritual health, all that, and, um, you know, I was interested in creating courses and starting an online business with coaching and courses. So that seems so overwhelming, right? Starting a new business, getting healthy, uh, healthier, you know, trying to do all this. So I had to break it down and I had to do one thing at a time, one little piece at a time. And I don't know why this keeps falling. <laughs> I, I keep fixing it. I have this new phone. And I don't think it fits as well into my little device here that my other phone did uh, for some reason. It, it falls a lot and um, yeah. So anyway, one of the first things I did was I said, you know what, I want to, one of the things to get healthier I wanted to incorporate was meditation. I wanted to meditate more. So I decided, all right, when am I going to have time to meditate? things going on right um, and I know from my past experience and I've uh, talked about it on, on various um, videos if you don't plan for it it won't happen so I needed to plan for meditation so I decided to wake up a little bit earlier than I normally do to get ready for work I wake up a little bit earlier so that I could uh, do some meditation and I did that I decided to wake it, it was, and it was a struggle I didn't always get up earlier like I wanted to. Um, at first I was trying, you know, maybe three three out of the five days a week um, to wake up earlier to, to meditate. On the weekends when I don't work, I can meditate when I wake up. I don't have to necessarily worry about waking up earlier. At least at the time I didn't uh, feel that way. Um, and so I got into the habit and I got into a pattern of waking up a little bit earlier so I could meditate for half an hour and I do that religiously now, now. but um, it took a little while, it took a little practice to, to get that healthy habit. And then the other thing I wanted to do was, um, so I got used to waking up a little bit earlier and the other thing I wanted to do with, with um, my course creation, um, it was finding time for that, right? So I decided to wake up a little bit earlier um, and actually, no, let me back up because at first I wanted to exercise and I was trying to incorporate exercising into my day as well and I was waking up earlier to exercise or trying to. Um, that didn't really work for me for whatever reason. Um, well, I know we, there was several reasons. One, 
Um, so I live with my sister and her husband and, you know, waking up an hour earlier, I was actually waking up half an hour early already. Uh, so that was 4.30 and now I'm going to wake up like at 3.30 to exercise and, you know, um, I was doing this video and, and me moving around, jumping around. I was making a lot of noise, right? So I was waking people up and I didn't feel comfortable and I had a small space to do it in. It just wasn't working out for me and waking up at 3.30 to exercise, it just wasn't work working out for me. So I decided instead um, that I was going to fit that, that hour to... Um, to work on my on my um, online courses. Um, 3.30 was a little bit too early, so I was waking up at four. I was meditating from four to 4.30, and then um, working on my online courses, 4.30 to 5.30, and then I would get ready for work. And then I found that waking up, making coffee, going to the bathroom before I actually started meditating took me some time so I wasn't actually sitting down to meditate until like quarter past four so I decided to wake up at quarter of three to incorporate getting up going to the bathroom making my coffee yada 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 right so that's what I do I wake up at quarter of four every morning and it seems to work um and then I decided you know it was really important to me that I incorporated exercise um, and how was I going to do that? So I decided, I, um, I used to go to a gym before COVID and I decided to, um, now that I have a new job, it's a different location, the gym that I was going to wasn't really uh, on my way to or from work, so that wouldn't work out. So I joined a new gym and I um, planned working out, I usually work out three to four times a week. Three times a week, definitely, right? So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is the time that I work out. Um, I go right to work after, um, uh, I go right to the gym after work, and um, that seems to be working out for me, right? And I, and I incorporated also my, my time for homework and whatnot. Um, and so that seems to be working out. And so little by slow, and then I, and then I improved on my diet, and I'm not gonna go into step by step into that because I've already taken up too much time with everything else but you get the you get the gist right I added one thing at a time I didn't I didn't wake up an hour and a half early and meditate and do my online courses or work out and you know what I mean I didn't do it all at once because I think that would have been too overwhelming and then I would end up doing nothing because it would have been too too overwhelming so if you have a goal if you have something that you want to do you want to achieve or, or, or change or behavior you want to change um, it's important to remember to take a little bit bite-sized pieces and, and incorporate that and once that becomes a habit and once that becomes more part of your you know everyday um, regime then you can add the next thing right um, and it makes it so much more easier and doable and now look at me I'm waking up an hour and a half early I'm doing my meditation I'm doing my online courses um, I'm going to the gym three times a week getting my homework done so I'm getting it all done I, I wouldn't have been able to do it if I tried to change it all at once um, and the same thing with my diet right I had to change one thing um, at a time I started with cutting out the wheat and then I, I cut out the sugar right so I do little things at a time um, I hope this has helped you I hope you have a wonderful day uh, remember if you want to if you want help and support in changing some behaviors or looking at what is it in your life that's preventing you from from um, these these changes uh, look me up I'm on Facebook I'm on Instagram under uh, recovery enthusiast Instagram I'm actually having an issue so I'm under dodo 71 you can look me up under Doreen Cunha um, you can also email me Doreen at recoveryenthusiast.com and also my website recoveryenthusiast.com um, and YouTube I've got all my videos on YouTube so if you've missed any of my previous videos you want to check them out you can check me out on YouTube under Doreen Cunha have a blessed day remember to let the people that you love know that you love them send out that text don't wait another moment do it now do it now because uh, you never know and live your life enthusiastically because 
There is no other way. Until next time, guys.